Hi everybody, it's Sandra. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. We're going to have a look at a haul that I have gotten within, well, a couple of different little hauls. This isn't going to be a very long one. I just picked up a few things, but I got some really high-end, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Thanks for coming, everybody. Let's go. Before we get to the haul, I wanted to show you a piece of jewelry that I bought from Kirsten Red. She's on YouTube and she sells really interesting, really cool, really eclectic stuff. And I got this awesome marcasite and sterling silver ladybug. How cool is that? So thank you, Kirsten. And I like the little cute pink box too. But then look, I got a free gift. Who does that, right? Very, very nice. Definitely check her out on YouTube because she's just cute as a button. And she's got cool stuff. And look at these earrings, come on! She clearly knows I like my critters and these are sterling. Well, that is just above and beyond. Thank you so much, girl. Love them. All right, let's get to the haul. I stopped at a yard sale over the weekend and I was really kind of looking for something to buy, you know, because the people seemed like they needed the money for sure. And so I found these earrings, you know, I kind of didn't really want them too much. Um, anyway, I said to the woman, well, how much are these earrings? I'll buy these. So she says $1. And as I'm reaching into my wallet, she says, you know, we have uh, a nephew who's in Guatemala and he needs this operation very badly. That's the reason we're having this yard sale. So thank you for buying the earrings kind of thing. Uh, and so anyway, as I was reaching in, I just gave her a 20. And she was so thankful. Anyway, so I paid $20 for these, <laughs> kind of, right? And I don't say that to brag. Just if anybody out there wants to, you know, pass it on a little bit. I remember a couple of years ago, I was at the drive through through at Dunkin Donuts and the guy in front of me bought me a coffee, you know, and I was so excited to this day. I just remember that little random act of kindness. And uh, then what I did is I bought the person behind me a cup. Right. So anyway, if that inspires anybody to do something nice. Um, yeah, just saying, I'm glad the money went to a good cause. And I, I certainly hope her nephew will be OK. I got this set in a local thrift store. I don't think this is real cinnabar. It's just like cinnabar looking. I think that's real coral though. Um, I don't know if it's sterling or not. No, oh, mm, I guess so. Is that what that says? It is marked sterling and I thought it was really different and it comes with the matching earrings. So I just bought these this morning, but this, the haul is really going to get a whole lot better in a minute. So stick with me. This is a very interesting piece of amber. Look at all that stuff in there. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm like repulsed by it or or if I if I like it. So amber is tree resin. That's about 150 million years old. It began its life as liquid. So a lot of times it picked up stuff. I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of stuff that is. I don't know if there's a bug in there or not. But I thought this was interesting and it was a dollar in a thrift store. This kind of looked like real gold. I think it's just gold plated, but what do you think? Kind of a neat pendant, right? I'm not sure yet if I like it or not. <laughs> I got this ring just to wear. There's something really cool about it. I guess that's horn, right? But it fits me. And I actually really like, I like the look of it. I love rings that are kind of bold like this. So I got that one for a dollar. I like wearing stainless steel jewelry. And I thought this was interesting. Kind of a cool bracelet, right? And it is clearly marked GSJ China Stainless. I actually know, I know I've sold GSJ before, but I, I can't remember who it is right now. But I just thought this was interesting. I've never sort of seen anything like this. The lock doesn't come off. It's just on there permanently, I think. Does it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's definitely made to not to not come off, but that was a dollar. I thought that was a cute item. I got this bracelet at a yard sale. This is a Monet, but it is so nicely made. This looks so much like real gold. I love getting designer jewelry. This was a dollar. 
and I really love it. I've actually been wearing this. It's in really nice condition. My camera is not making it look as pretty as it actually does in person. Now let's get to the good stuff. So I was at this yard sale and this woman, um, I said, do you have any more jewelry, right? Because some of the jewelry looked a little bit older. She was 85, she told me. So I said, well, do you have any other jewelry? So she says, um, well, not yard sale jewelry. I said, well, what do you have? And she says, well, I have some stuff, but it's going to be really, really expensive. So I said, well, I'll definitely take a look at it. Anyway, she comes, she goes into her house and she comes out with some pretty cool stuff. So I did pay a lot of money. I usually talk about what I pay for stuff, but today I am not going to do that. The reason I like to talk about what I pay is because I know a lot of people who watch the channel want to sell on eBay or want to sell jewelry. And I'm really trying to show people that you can find cool stuff for a dollar or two. That's really why I mention it. Um, but when I pay a lot, then it just sounds like I'm bragging or something. So I'm not going to tell you how much I paid. It was not a small amount, but I did get some amazing stuff. She gave me all this first stuff for free because this is the first stuff I picked just when I was like in the yard sale part and then she went into her house. So this stuff she just threw in. So I love little pieces like this. This is signed H-R Co. That stands for a company, Hallam Rice. They were around in the early 1900s and I love this little piece. So this is a fob holder and also a, a pin, obviously. That's a cute little piece. It's hard to find these ones that are not monogrammed, so that's pretty cool that it's not monogrammed. Then she gave me this one for free. I have sold a very, very similar rings to this. I think this might be sterling. I couldn't find a mark. Oops, I mean, I found some sort of a mark, but it didn't say sterling, uh, and I can't read it either yet. Well, anyway, I think this one might be sterling is what the point is. Very cool ring featuring neat hieroglyphics. I wonder if this says anything. Probably. Well, that's a neat item. I mean, for free, certainly, right? And then I got this ring. I thought this was like a V for a victory kind of thing, but it turns out it is, it is a Virgo ring. So it says Virgo there, August, whatever, August 20th to September 2nd or something? September 20th? I, I don't know what that says. But anyway, I thought that was kind of a cool, maybe 1960s ring, maybe 1970s ring. And then I got this kind of awesome slide necklace. I didn't see a maker on it, but I think there's some nice age on this. It certainly looks like real gold. I'm sure it's only plated. So those were my free prizes, but wait till you see what I got. So let's just go, first of all, with this gorgeous KJL item. How do you like this little guy? This was actually the first piece that she pulled out of the box. So yeah, my heart was racing. I said, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> that one is mine. So I, I took it and put it to the side. Uh, this is by KJL. This was sold on QVC. It's a QVC exclusive. He did do a lot of stuff for QVC later in his life. I think this is called Prideful. This is a rare item. This is a limited edition. There was only a thousand of these ever made. And it's so well done. Look, it looks like an emerald eye, right? It's just beautiful. It's in beautiful condition also. So Kenneth J. Lane, of course, was known for costume jewelry. He really got his big start in 1963. He started his own jewelry company. And the Duchess of Windsor really gave him a lot of I guess modern day you would call it a shout out, but a lot of stars started uh, digging on his jewelry like Gloria Swanson, uh, Liz Taylor, Audrey Hepburn and others. He was well traveled, so he drew his inspiration from, you know, a lot of the places he went to Asia and so on. And uh, he was really big into deco and he was really into these bold, bold pieces. He actually interestingly started out as a shoe designer. He worked for Christian Dior and I guess that uh, kind of spun him into jewelry because he also did like the embellishments on the shoes. Anyway, I sure love this lion. It's amazing. I'm so happy. Here's a very pretty vintage piece of Monet. This actually looks like it's not been out of the box. I mean, I sort of took it out just, just to show you. Oh, there's the Monet thing. 
But this is a neat little collectible piece. Look how nicely made it is, nice and thick. I actually think this has just not been worn ever. It's in perfect condition, so this is worth a little bit of money. I think it's very cool. All the zodiac signs. That's an interesting piece. Love that bracelet. The next item that I chose out of all the choices she had there is this Puffy Heart Sterling Silver Bracelet. I love Puff Hearts, also called Puffy Hearts. I think I usually call them Puffy Hearts. Um, I love these things. This isn't old, right? Here's our lobster claw. Well, I'll show it to you in a minute. This is cool. I love it. I love the noise it makes. It has a great sound. Now, this one is marked Sterling JCM over here. Now, here's a lobster claw. And when I look this up, it is supposed to have 17 charms, and there's only 15 here, which is, you know, a bit of a bummer, but, yeah, something's missing right there. I sure wish I noticed that at the time. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to keep this because I love it. I don't think anybody would certainly notice that there's supposed to be 17 charms and there's only 15, but I really love this. Of course, these were a big thing in Victorian times. I actually have quite a few Victorian charms. They're also very popular in the 1940s during World War II. And I think these are just lovely, lovely reproductions. Each one is different. I think they're very nicely made. Oh, look, that one looks like a strawberry. Um, yeah, they're cool. So I like this bracelet. The rest of the jewelry I bought from her is Scandinavian. I love the look of Scandinavian jewelry. Now, this is just exquisite. Look at how thin each leaf is. And it feels so nice. I I just love this. Now, this is probably from the 50s or 60s. Take a look at the signature. It says Sterling Sweden Stigbert. Stigbert is for a guy named Stig Engelbert. And I think his designs, I mean, look at this. I think it's magnificent. And something ab about jewelry that I like a lot, especially when it's older like this, this feels really good. It's hard to describe really, but I just think it's, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing bracelet. I feel like this is a little bit more than a bracelet. It's like art, really. The rest of the jewelry is by a designer, Niels Eric. So this stuff is marked. Take a look at it. From, I think that's how you pronounce it, F-R-O-M. And the other pieces are marked N-E from. So look at this awesome modernist ring. This is so super cool. Of course, Scandinavian modernist jewelry was, uh, it had clean lines. There's something kind of minim minimalist about it. It's very spare and it's sort of bold in a way, but it's kind of understated in a way too, if that makes any sense. This is beautiful. Look at the design. It almost looks like something from outer space. Such a beautiful mid-century piece. That's amazing. So here are some more of his pieces. These are like a take uh, on plants, I guess. This is very cool. Uh, if you look up this, this name, N.E. From, you see that he's from Denmark. Um, you'll see that these are quite collectible and they go for very, very nice money, which is what I knew when I saw them. I just knew I had to have all of these. So there's the matching uh, pair of earrings. And then here's one with a leaf motif as well. That one's very cool too. And Ephraim 925, Sterling, Denmark. I love this patina. Who else really loves the patina? That's terrific. I love it. My favorite piece is this bracelet right here. And this one is also like art to me. It's like going in the wrong direction. I'm just fixing it here. Yeah, that's the one. This is my favorite one. That is amber. It's it's orange, but it, it almost skews a little bit to the red shades. It's a very nicely colored amber. And just take a look at this catch. 
how nice is this catch? I mean, that's no joke, right? And here's the, the signature. I just think this is amazing. I love this. Again, it's really like art. It's futuristic. It does look a little sort of like spaceships or something. So how fantastic are these Scandinavian pieces? I love, it's not everybody's thing, you know, but I was so excited to find these pieces that are, um, you know, not only collectible, but I kind of see them as investment pieces in a way. These are sure to, you know, only go up in value. I think they're amazing. I love them. And I love this too. Thank you so much, as always, for coming to hang out with me today. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. I hope you like looking at just a few little things here that I have gotten within the past few days. Cheers, everybody. Catch you soon, all right? Have a great one.